Hi everybody, it's Margie from Bubbles and Fairy Tales and Happy New Year! Yes, it's been a really long time since I've uploaded a video. It's been since October, I believe, was the last time I uploaded a video and I think time just slipped by way too quickly. Uh, November and December are very, very busy for my family. There's like five birthdays, two anniversaries, and then all the holiday stuff. It just gets to be too much, too overwhelming. So I took a step back and did what I had to do and now with the new year, Things are really slowing down, so I have a little bit of time to come back and start putting up some more book hauls and hopefully a few discussions. In the meantime, I'm going to start with my January book haul. Um, I got quite a few books already. I don't want to wait until the end of the month, so I got a stack here that I want to share. Let's get started on the books that I received for review. So the first book that I received is... A hardcover copy of Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babette. This is the 40th anniversary edition for Macmillan. It has a forward by Gregory Maguire. It is absolute perfection. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I didn't do much reading on my own in my late teens and I'm happy to say though this was one of the ones that I, I did manage to pick up on my own and fall in love with and reread over and over again. We have numerous copies throughout the house, so I'm really excited that now I have my own hardcover and my kids each have a paperback on their own and we can one day reread it all together. And um, there's a blog tour going on hosted by Macmillan. I'll leave down the link, the, all the links down below and you guys should definitely check out the tour and check out the new book. All the other books that I received for review are advanced reader copies from Macmillan. There's five more books that I received from them. The first advanced reader copy that I received from them is a middle grade called Witherwood Reform School by Obert Skye. This is a book about two siblings, a brother and a sister, who is abandoned at this reform school by their dad. And I believe something happens to the dad, like he's bewitched or something. And he dumps them off at this school, and there's like really odd, weird things going on in the school. And they somehow, some way, need to try to escape, leave the school, try to convince their father to wake up and realize that there's some really, really abnormal things going on here. And I love anything that has to do with like boarding schools and that type of scenery. And there's a mystery, and there's adventure going on, and. They also asked me to be a part of the blog tour, so I'm really excited about this. I'll leave a link down below for that too. The next book that I received from them is Becoming Jin by Lori Goldstein. Oh, I, this is just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So the finished copy is going to be even more amazing. I cannot wait to see that. Um, this book is obviously about genies. The story focuses on a 16-year-old girl named Azra who lives with her sisters and they're teaching her all the ways of being a genie but I don't think she's very good at it and she keeps messing up on things on all the, on some wishes and things like that in the meantime she's living a normal everyday life as a cover-up I think she works in like a snack bar or something and there's a boy involved and it just sounds really, really good. At first I was under the impression that this was going to be a fantasy book, but it's not. It's a contemporary with like magical realism. And I love those books. There needs to be more contemporary with magical things going on. So I am really excited for this one. And this one's being released in May. The next book that I received isn't being released until June. And it's called Sweet. And this is by Emmy Laborn. This book really, really sounds intriguing. It's about a girl named Laurel who accepts an invitation from her friend Viv to go on this cruise ship. This cruise ship is um, like a diet cruise ship. You go on there and you take this sweetener and you're supposed to lose like 5% of your body mass within like a week's worth of time. Um, but unfortunately, as soon as she gets on the ship, she gets really sick she gets seasick and she can't even taste the sweetener but everybody else has started their reg regimens and she starts to notice that they're all acting very differently and the host of this cruise um, is supposedly set up with like the star I believe that 
the majority of the passengers on the cruise are like all these high-end celebrities and rich people and stuff and he's all um, for furthering his career and his publicist has um, sent him up with one of the actresses or something but he can't seem to click with her he starts to click with Laurel and things take a turn and a twist and I believe things start happening and I don't know on the back it says um, people would kill to be thin but will they die for it too so it sounds like a really really interesting premise plus the cover is really really eerie it's like this is the way the cover goes, but the water's up here and the sky's down here. So if you turn it around, that's what a normal picture would look like. So obviously something not good is happening on this ship, and I'm really, really intrigued. The next book that I received for them is being released in June also. It's a contemporary, and it's probably going to be one of my favorites of this year and that's Joyride by Anna Banks. This is about a girl named Carly whose parents have been deported and she's now living with her brother and they're alone and they're trying to help support each other and send money back home so their parents can come back and try again I guess. She goes to school, she keeps her head down, she doesn't want to draw any sort of attention to herself. They don't want anybody knowing or finding out that their parents are not there because um, they don't know what could happen to them. If they would be deported too or be sent into the system or what. Um, so she goes to school, she does the best that she can just to get by and after school, she goes straight to work, and she works until, like, the night shift, until, like, 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning, then rides her bike back home, and, um, <clears throat> lo and behold, um, something happens at the store that she works at when she's supposed to get off her shift, or lock up, or something like that, and, um, next day, she's got the star football player's attention, then it's just not a good thing for her, and it just sounds like a really good story is going to be happening there, so I'm really looking forward to this. It's supposed to be funny and romantic and, you know, some harsh reality thrown in there too, but it sounds like a really good one to get into. Now the next book isn't being released until July but it sounds absolutely amazing. It's got like a steampunk Victorian era kind of vibe. It's called Rebel Mechanics. This is by Shanna Swenson. On the bottom here it says, All is fair in love and revolution. The cover is really, really pretty. And it, again, it's going to be gorgeous even as a finished copy. On the back, it says that it's 1888 and a 17-year-old Verity arrives in New York and lands a job as a governess for a leading wealthy family, but she quickly learns that the family has some big secrets. Magisters are ruling over colonies and you know, there's all these mechanics and scientists and engineers and such, and she seems to have um, discovered that there's a cause going on and rebellion happening and she turns into a spy. So it sounds really, really, really good. I cannot wait to read this one too. Now, the next book arrived in my mailbox as a huge surprise. It came in an Amazon, um, one of those Amazon boxes, things, whatever, that you have to rip apart. And it didn't tell me, like, who it came from. So it's a gift, and I want to thank whoever it is. So if you're out there, thank you so much. I am dying to read this. I love this author and the world that this is set up in. So I cannot wait to read this. And if it was you, please let me know so I can thank you appropriately. And the book that was sent is Frostfire by Amanda Hawking. This is the first book to the Canon Chronicles. I believe it's supposed to be a trilogy. And basically it's a companion to the Trill Trilogy that she put out um, a year or so ago, or two years ago. And I absolutely loved that trilogy. And this is, I believe, like 15 years later, like 10, 15 years later, it takes place after 
that trilogy happened and I just cannot wait to get into this world again and the covers are absolutely amazing and you don't have to wait for the rest of the trilogy. That's what I love so much about this. I believe the second book is coming out in May, I want to say, and the third book is coming out in August or September. So it's not long to get the other two books. We don't have years and years to wait. We can read all three books within this year. So I cannot wait to get in on that. This next book I wanted to give away, and it's Exquisite Captive by Heather Demetrios. This is another genie book. This one sounds epic. I mean, this is like real genie stuff. The main character, Nalia, um, her whole entire family and loved ones were um, killed and she went into hiding, but now she's like stuck inside a bottle. She is sold off to, I believe, um, people that were involved in destroying her homeland. Um, but I believe like the prince or something um, really knows who she is and he offers to help her but at a very very high price and that's kind of all I know but it sounds so so good. The last few books I purchased on the book depository um, quite a few years ago we had to move out of apartment um, long story short like half of my books were destroyed and um, all the books that I had collected in this collection were goners. So I decided that I'm going to try to build up my collection again because I just, I loved these issues so much. And the book depository and Amazon has a few of them really, really cheap. These books would be found anywhere between three and five dollars. And that's the Wordsworth Classics. And their spines are so, so adorable. I'm so happy that I have three so far and hopefully every chance that I can get, I will collect more. So the first three that I got is Grimm's Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm. And the second one that I bought is The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. And the last one is Anderson's Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. And you know, I'm all about the fairy tales and stuff. So, and like I said, these <laughs> little illustrations are just too too cute so I am really looking forward to trying to expand my little library again. So the main reason why I placed a book deposit order it was to get my hands on this gorgeous book. It's not sold here in the States yet until August or September I believe. I'll leave all the links down below and um, I just I couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait anymore. I needed to get my hands on this book and it is the Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman, illustrated by Chris Riddle, and I am so, so happy that I finally have this book. Now, Bloomsbury is the publisher of this book. Like I said, this has been released, I think, in the UK and Australia. I'm not sure if it was released anywhere else, and it is absolutely beautiful. However, I believe it's HarperCollins that's going to be releasing it here in the States. It's probably the most gorgeous book that I own right now. It is absolutely beautiful. That's what it looks like with the dust jacket on. Now, let me slip this off. You can see her. And I'll just take this off and you'll see the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then on the inside, it's not a map, it's actually an illustration of the mountains. And when you read the story, there are two kingdoms, one on each side of the mountains. And that plays a huge, huge, major role, these mountains and stuff. And some of the illustrations in here are absolutely beautiful. They're so dark and gothic and mysterious. And it's just absolutely, absolutely, I've read it already and I'm really looking forward to reading it again. Give five stars. Loved it. So that's my haul for January. Like I mentioned before, there's a lot of things going on in the blog, lots of tours going on and things like that. I'll leave some links down below. Um, however, lots of things will be starting up here on the channel too, so keep an eye on that. And in the meantime, I hope you guys have had a wonderful start to your new year, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.